mega excited. New camera bag. Don't know what it is about camera bags. <laughs> Photographers go nuts for camera bags. Shimoda X50 kit. So yeah, let's get into it. Stuff sack. Cool, little bags, stuff sacks. Too exciting. Thank you uh, Clifton Cameras in, uh, in Bristol that sent me this. So, uh, once I uh, I gave them a small mortgage to pay for it, <laughs> it didn't. This might be the only video of this bag that you will have seen that isn't for free. <laughs> Sorry, well, that door went right. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, have a look. 50 litre. Whereas my Atlas Adventure, which I use at the minute, is 70 litre. So it's a smaller bag. Um, but one of the things I didn't like about it was this roll top section here, which put me off it initially. Um, when it was like on Kickstarter, but because that would catch on things, I thought if you're going through trees or woodland and it waterfalls, tripods and everything catch on branches anyway. This is going to be a nightmare. Enter via the rear, and there he is in the inside of the Shimoda X50. And this is the medium kit IC that comes with it. You get a large one that comes up to about there, and you can get small ones as well. And I've ordered a small one second hand off eBay, cheaper. <laughs> I think I've got it for 30 quid. It's actually solid, it's not, it doesn't seem to want to move around. Like the F stop one would, would, would slide front to back, that would go that way. Would, if you didn't have anything down the, down the front of the bag, you'd open the bag when you get to whatever, and this would have just slid to the back. So if you had a lens there, the lens could just fall out. So it's one of the things that the F stop really used to wind me up about. Let's have a look in this top section. So look in the top section. I have got to say, first impressions, the bag is amazing quality. Amazing, amazing. So what confused me was I thought this top section was waterproof, hence the weather. And I was like, well, why has it got a zip there, which apparently takes you into the same section if it's got a roll top. Surely that doesn't make it waterproof if it's got a zip there, but it's not. It's just to expand the, the capacity of it. Um, and to make it easier access, obviously, on the front there. You've got more tethering points there as well, so your tent could go on the top, put your tent over the top. This is brilliant, isn't it? It's just brilliant. There we go. Right then. Four weeks later, about. Four weeks later. So since I've had this bag, I've been out about five or six times easily with it. So I've given it a few good outings and I can conclude spoiler alert this is absolutely fantastic I love it so yeah super thrilled with the bag it's been really 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 nice to to use and shoot with so yeah I thought I'd, I'd it's obviously still my first impressions um because I've not had it long nothing's fallen apart <laughs> I'm getting it that long uh, but I want to show you how I've set it up and what I like about it and what I don't like about it so um now I normally use this tripod here the Benro Match 3 absolute beast of a tripod this is a, a hefting thing but I thought for the video just to show you I'll use that nice and light uh, Benro Tortoise nice little compact tripod this is the tripod if I go up a mountain I'd use that tripod so um, now we'll start with the tripod because it's, it's the, probably the only complaint I'm going to give you I adore this bag there's one thing that does my head in so this for this facility look how the bag stands up as well I love that um, this pouch here which you can just slide your tripod in is perfect I would never ever want to be without that system I'm so so happy with this system now up here this goes loose very easily it just it just seems to come loose a lot. It might just be mine, doubt it. <laughs> but what I might do is just uh, put some sort of clip on there so that once I've adjusted it for size, I can clip it on, it's not going anywhere. Uh, but that is the only complaint I'm gonna give you about this bag. So if you're thinking about buying one, it's literally just that. Let's spin it around. So we've got this bottle. Uh, not not a sponsored video, but there's my case bottle, and that's a 750 ml water bottle. Fits in there absolutely perfect. Uh, goes in and out really really nicely. Obviously, if you're carrying water, it's a bit more weight on the front of your bag as opposed to the back, so that's nice. It's very easy to access, obviously, because it just slides slides in, slides out, um, and it, it, you don't feel the cold through there. So if you've got a cold water bottle in there, you don't actually feel it through the back. So yeah, absolutely love that. I love that way more, to be honest, than I thought I was going to. So yeah, really really nice storage set there but the um, the water bottle <laughs> is absolutely brilliant on the other side we've got the uh, capture plate for peak design now I don't know if there's a bag in the flipping world that I like this on um, it seems to be an annoyance in every bag it's obviously not the bag's fault but it just seems to no matter where I put it, it just seems to dig in me so it digs it does dig in my shoulder a little bit there not sure if I'm going to keep it there or what whether or not I'll, I'll try and find somewhere else to put it but great great uh, that it fits that because these are wide straps nice that it goes on there but I'm not sure um, if it'll go any lower or I don't know but yeah 
Um, now you've got this, the phone pouch here, I've got my iPhone 8, I've just ordered the iPhone 13 Pro Max because my friend has got a 12 Pro Max and I tried it and it does fit in that pouch which is amazing because I was worried because it doesn't look that big but the Pro Max iPhone does fit in that pouch with the case that my friend had on it. So yeah, really, really cool. Now, sticking with the straps, they are amazing. They are absolutely amazing. They're really, really wide. So it feels like, I've normally got about 14 kilo in this bag on a hiking bag. So the bag's nice and light empty, which is a huge starting point. My Atlas wasn't the lightest bag in the world when it started off empty. Uh, put me off using it when I first got it, if I'm honest with you. The F-stop bag was quite light, but didn't feel very well made and sort of, you know. Uh, so this one is a compromise on both. It's really, really well made and it is quite lightweight, empty as well. So really, really happy with that. Um, now, if you have got 14 kilo in your bag, these hold the weight here. So they don't feel like they're cutting in your shoulders. It doesn't feel like all the weight's on your hips. It's really, really nice because there's weight on your hips and then you've got this massive distribution of weight on the width there as well. So absolutely 10 out of 10 there, Shimoda. Really, really happy with these. I've not, I probably did 10 mile hike was the longest hike I've done with this. So yeah, and I've really, really been happy with it. So on the front as well, you notice I've got this add-on. Now, if you're gonna buy one of these Shimoda bags, I pretty much insist you buy one of these little fellas. They are 18 quid and it's just a little pouch. You can put a snack bar in, you can put your mobile phone if you wanted to. I bought it so I could get my B-roll camera, like my Osmo Action or my GoPro or something in there. Um, I've also got a zip section there. You could put car keys. I've got my social media business card. So if I see anybody, I can give you, a, I'll give them a social media business card. That's just got my Instagram and stuff on it. So if I take their picture, I can send them to them. Um, so, but that 18 quid, absolutely fantastic. It's really, really well made. And yeah, it fits the GoPro in, fits obviously sweets or snacks. Just love having access to something on there. I just think you absolutely need that. And if they did a bigger one, I might even be tempted to get a bigger one. Uh, so yeah, really, really like that. It just slides over there. Cool, where are we now? We are, let's, let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. Let's go in the back. Let's go in the back. So, how do we get in the back? Zips are down the bottom. Right, and this is how I've got it set up. So, uh, <laughs> I'm not a hipster. <laughs> uh, don't carry a Nikon FM2 with me, unfortunately, but I thought I'd put that there just to show you where my Fujifilm X-T3 or 4, which is normally the camera I'm filming with, with the kit lens would go in there. So that's what that is there for, just to <laughs> show you that I get into the camera with the, the X-T4 normally with the 18 to 55 kit lens goes in there uh, nice and easily. So yeah, that's what that's for. I'm <laughs> no hipster. <laughs> Although I would like to do uh, some landscape photography with that. So got Nikon Z7, uh, 24 to 70, kit lens, the F4, uh, nice compact lens, and that goes in there really, really nicely. It's on the small rig um, L bracket, which is a bit chunky there. I wish it was a bit thinner, if I'm honest, because it would go in even better, but absolutely no issues whatsoever. It goes in there really, really nicely, and then through there, you've got the side access, so when you're holding the bag, and uh, this is one of them bags, actually, that um, that does work, that side access, when, you, when you're wearing it, you spin it around, and you access the, bag, the, the camera from the side, it really, really does work. I do like this facility. It's not, I've got it on other bags and I've never used it and never enjoyed it, but it does really, really work on this one. Um, now on this side, I've got my 14 to 30. These are all case um, filter covers, sort of for your lenses. So um, yeah, check out case filters for them. Uh, and that, that goes in there nicely as well. Obviously a bit of room on top. So if I wanted to put lens cloths or whatever I could do. Um, and then I've got my Sigma uh, 100 to 400 contemporary lens with the FTZ adapter on there as well. So I wish you didn't need that because it does add a bit of size to it, but it goes in there really, really nicely. And the, the, these dividers that mold around everything and they're, they're thin, but they're very, very padded still. It's very, very secure. I just don't think that, I, I don't think you can improve the, the actual core unit. I think is absolutely perfect. It's got loads of bend. It's not, you know, it doesn't take apart all the space out of the bag like the, um, the Atlas felt like it did and, and, and similar other ones. Um, so really, really happy with that. So that's the medium DSLR core unit that came with the with the, with the the set. Um, in the middle, I've got the small uh, one up here, but in the middle between the two, I've got this tiny little see-through uh, Kathmandu zip pouch, which I'll keep my filter stuff in there. So I've got a couple of filters, polarizer, grads, that sort of thing. Uh, K9 from case filter holder. Uh, remote release, couple of wipes, that sort of thing. So anything to do with filters is in there. And look how thin that is. Really, really like that. So, and obviously I've got business cards on all my, all my covers as well. So keep that in there, it makes it nice and accessible. And then obviously, if I need filters, I just grab that entire pouch and everything's there. So all my, all my cameras have got the uh, Peak Design anchors on them. So this is a Peak Design leash strap 
don't know, whatever it's called. Uh, really nice, I've got the thicker one, I've got a thin one for street photography, a thicker one because obviously the bigger body, the bigger lens, so if you're climbing over rocks, you wanna have make sure that your camera's not gonna fall in the soup, don't you? So pull that down then and we've got, this is good because I can get the remote controller, this is the DJI uh, remote controller, I think these are a bit big, I wish they were smaller, um, but that fits in there really, really nicely. And in my dry bag, my Mavic Air 2S drone, which is absolutely phenomenal. I I'm going to do a video on this. I absolutely love this thing. Um, I'm really, really happy with it. So keep it in a dry bag because on, if I'm photographing waterfalls or if I'm near the sea or something, because sometimes I've just have to, I just need to put stuff down on wet on wet areas, wet grounds. And one on one occasion recently, I was out with this bag. It was in the dry bag, but the drone did actually roll off and ended up in a puddle right by a waterfall. So I was glad it was in the in the dry bag. This is a tiny little cheap freebie zip pouch, which. Um, I don't. I think I got it free with a Vanguard bag or something. But I just got my lav mic for my microphone. I've got um, midge net. I've got chargers, batch. Um, what do you got? Power bank, lead, iPhone cable. I've got um, paracetamols, that sort of stuff. You know, that sort of things you hope you don't really need and whatnot. <laughs> Never go anywhere without a midge net though. The other thing we've got in here is the. Um, I don't know where the back's gone for that. Oh, there it is. Um, extension tubes. Is it on now? That doesn't want to stay on. Extension tubes. Um, if you haven't seen, or if you're not subscribed to the video, check out this video I did with the extension tubes recently. It was a freaking good laugh. And the uh, first time I've ever had them in the camera bag. So if you've not got any extension tubes, they're dead cheap, pick them up and just leave them. Don't go anywhere with that extension tube, honestly, they're brilliant. So uh, yeah, I mean, you see we've got space here as well. So I could actually put something else in there. I was wondering if I could fit, like I've got a, it's a 50mm 1.8, so the 50mm 1.8, I'd never go landscaping with this, but 50mm 1.8 fits in there. So you could put batteries or something in there, but you know, get another lens if or astrophotography lens or something. But it's good that I can get the drone in there, and then if you take the the controller things, I wish they'd give you these little, I wish there was tiny little miniature nipply things that you could put on there. <laughs> it just mean that you could uh, wouldn't have to unscrew them, but that goes in there nicely. Obviously, my filter pouch slides in there. Easy peasy. Now, in the side here, I feel like there's something now. Oh, anyway. In the top here, I've got this is a laptop pouch for 15 inch MacBook Pro. I've got one there. I haven't tried it actually, but it would easy. I know I know it does fit in there. It's, it's, I've seen seen people put them in. But yeah, just got a load of cloths I'll keep in there. So it's just easy handy. And obviously, then that extra padding then just keeps everything down. What I will say is the back of the bag, unclip there, it's got this thing, this magnetic thing here. Which, if anybody can tell me what on earth that's for, because it gets on my nerves. So I've, I've, I've it's that supposed to clip in there, and it's, it, I don't know, it's supposed to clip in there somehow. Yeah, it clips in really, really well. I don't know what it's for, uh, but when it's when it's there, you can't unzip the damn bag. So yeah, you know, I, I I take that out and just tuck it in the in the makeshift rubbish section there. So I took it in there, it's just out of the way. I don't know what the that's for. These straps are absolutely wonderful. They go around your hips amazingly. I can't actually fault them at all. And obviously you can hook stuff on there if you wanted to put like a tripod or something through or trekking poles or whatever, you know the score. So the bag itself, very, very comfortable. This, I'm developing back problems at the minute, very, very annoyingly. Uh, but this is actually adding almost like a lumbar support to my bag, which I'm super thrilled with. Um, I've done about, uh, I've done a, f a few of, of the walks I've done have been quite long. I've never had any issues with the back, so um, yeah, really, really pleased with the back. I'm, I'm, I'm giving the bag sort of like nine, nine point nine out of ten at the minute, so I'm absolutely thrilled with it. I'm six foot eleven, which I thought I would have been a medium, but it turns out I'm a large. Um, but yeah, you can try with that. Now, when I first got the bag, this thing here was digging in me. I'll show you that that bit there on the left hand side, yeah, it was a bit convex. That square there, whereas on this side it was fine. Um, but the second time I wore the bag, it's absolutely fine. So that's softened, and uh, yeah, that's absolutely fine. I've not had any issues at all with that. So just looking at the top section here, when you get the bag, you're supposed to you're supposed to roll it forward. So when you when you roll them back, you roll the, the stuff the compression bit forward and then tuck it back. So if you tuck it back like that, it goes nice and tight, stays down. What I'm doing is I'm tight wrapping it around the handle so it absolutely doesn't, okay? So what I was worried about when I got the bag was walking along and then all of a sudden as you 
passing a tree, sort of walking past them, you go, <laughs> and some branch catches this giant hook on the top. You see, I feel he almost sort of what the hell was going on. Um, but no, keeping that down there is absolutely no issue whatsoever. So I've seen a few people walk around with a hook, sort of this this thing sticking up in the air, and it just looks like somebody's just going to go up to you and pick you up and hang you on, on a branch or something. <laughs> but if you do that, it's, uh, it keeps it out of the way. So I really, really like that, that uh, system I've adopted there. So let's take the tripod off the side. This is a little Benro Tortoise, fantastic little tripod. Um, now in the side of the tripod thing there, you've got your pocket for your gloves. The, these are the Val Valere um, Markov 2.0, I think they're called. So there's a nice that you've got pocket for your gloves. And on the front we've got sit mat. Always, always, always have a sit mat in the bag. Absolutely love the frigging things. This is a, the fancy Thermarest one, but you don't need to get that. You just get a cheap one, three or four pound off Amazon. Car carabiner over that because that keeps coming up and getting caught in the zip. So carabiner keeps it down. A little thermometer on there. So if I go hiking and it's knobbling, and I like to know how cold or what I'm putting myself through. <laughs> it's always interesting, isn't it? And then obviously you've got a place for your batteries in there. I normally keep my batteries, the Nikon and the Fuji in there. There's plenty of room for two batteries of each. And then obviously more business cards. You could put your car keys in there as well. One or two times I've put my car keys in there. Um, and then obviously you've got my waterproofs down there. I've got my waterproof trousers, waterproof top. And then there's holes at the bottom. So if it does absolutely lash it down and then you, you put your waterproofs in after it's lashed it down, then obviously the water can just run out the bottom and the water, your wet stuff separate uh, from the other stuff. I'm wondering whether or not they could fit a pocket across here, like a big pocket. I just feel like that would be nice if it could be a, if it could be a pocket there. Now I mentioned I've got a tripod on the side because the YouTube channel I'm always I'm always filming um, with two at least two tripods. Um, if I'm doing a time lapse, I'll obviously have a third tripod. So the other tripod will go in here. I've got this really really nice Siri uh, T1204X. I think it's called. Weighs about 900 grams. It's amazing. So that will slide in there. Absolutely perfect. No issues whatsoever. Um, what else is there? There's another little pocket on the side here, which is supposed to have another pouch that you can pull out, so you can have another another tripod on the side, but to be honest, I'd rather just have that as a as a pocket, just for shoving stuff in, I don't know what, it's not very big. And then that's the access then for your, for your camera, which which is really, really easy. Okay, so let's have a look in the top section. Obviously, if you're putting large things in, you'll, un, you'll unclip that bit, but you know, most of the time you wanna be using this. So the top section here, we've got this, it's not a compression pack, it's a stuff sack that they give you. Absolutely love this, really, really good. So this is where I keep my cold stuff, like uh, winter jacket, uh, fleece, gloves, hats, that sort of thing. Anything cold, I know it's in that. And if, if it's not gonna be cold, I don't need to bring that, I just leave that aside. I've got my uh, head torch, never going anywhere. And it's good to have a place where you, where you know where your head torch is gonna be, because you know it's one of the things you need to be able to grab. And what else have I got in here? I don't know, I'd normally pick, pick like my jet boil with something or go in there, you know, if I'm gonna bring coffee cooking cooking stuff, that sort of thing. Because so obviously you got, don't forget, now when this expands, you've got another six liter or so, so you get absolutely loads of room on top of this as well. This section here, the, the <laughs> I don't know what to think about this, because it just feels messy to me, and I'm wondering, because you can zip it out, you can, and you can take this out, so I'm wondering whether or not to take that out and just use some sort of like a modular system to stop everything falling down. So just unzip this whole liner, which you can do with that white zip there, it's dead easy. Well, not that white zip, the green one there. Um, and it comes out, so I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm, the thing is, it's got these pockets in here, but if you put anything in there, you're never gonna see it again. <laughs> I don't really know what they want you to do with that, but. <laughs> So what else could go in there? I don't know, there's flipping loads in there. There's loads of room. Thing is, these, these bags, when they're too big, you end up putting so much stuff in there that you really don't need, and you end up carrying way, way, way too much. And I'm guilty of that. Um, yeah, you always think, I'm gonna bring that. What's one more lens that don't weigh anything, does it? Um, but it flipping adds up, especially when you're doing YouTube. Uh, but no, I've got to be honest with you, I'm, I'm, I'm me mega, mega impressed, and so far I'm loving the bag. Um, it just feels so, so well made. I doubt very much I'm gonna have any reliability issues with it. I've got friends who've owned them for four or five years, and if, since they came out pretty much that long, that is. Uh, they've owned them for a long time, they've been banging out, banging on about them for long enough. So yeah, I'm really, really impressed with it. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be trying to save up for a smaller one. I know the Adventure Series is coming out, still, still on pre-order, I think. And I'd love something that's about 25, 30 litre, so, um, 
something that you can you, you can't overfill that's it just uses the same sort of ecosystem the same way of, of, of you know even the same ICU setup that sort of thing the same um, everything carryability just a smaller version I think I've really really liked something around about the 25 30 litre just to go on a small height with so you can't fill up you're not taking a stupid big bag yeah I, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled with it so I'm, I'm really really impressed with the with the weight of it empty it's really light the when you when you've loaded up distributes the weight fantastic it's very very comfortable yeah <laughs> so I'll leave it there I uh, and I love this little thing I'm thrilled with this I love little pockets bit wise a big pocket I love things like that but um and the way that you can, I mean, I could, I could clip the tent on the bottom if I wanted to. I can, you know, I can do, I'd do a little mini camp if I wanted to. So it's expandable. So anyway, um, <laughs> if you want to see me using this friggin' thing, as opposed to just talking about it, hit the subscribe button. Uh, let me know. If you're thinking, I'd love to be able to say, you know, retrospectively now, if Shimoda reach out to see in this video and they, they say, oh, is a, a discount code to put in the, in the comments for your viewers but they haven't so i can't <laughs> but if they do and there's a and check out the description see if there's a by the time you're watching this maybe she might have seen it and give me some sort of incentive for you they didn't give me a bugger that's for sure anyway i'll leave it there so if you want to see me actually using the damn thing hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in a video shortly thanks for watching guys take care